Today, from Las Vegas, Nevada, this is the National Football League. Football has come to Southern Nevada as we are in the menacing new Allegiant Stadium here in Las Vegas. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Minnesota Vikings and the Las Vegas Raiders. And off we go from Las Vegas. Jalen Richard going to take it out of his end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. Well, the Raiders getting ready to go to work for the first time, and they're led by their quarterback in his eighth season now in silver and black, Derek Carr. And the rumors were pretty strong. The teams asked about him in the offseason. But for once, got a pretty firm not available from the Raiders. Now in his eighth season as a Raider, still yet to appear in a playoff game. But last year, Really solid numbers again. A third straight 4,000-yard campaign, 27 touchdowns, just nine interceptions, and the highest analytical rating of his career. Derek Carr is one of the top quarterbacks in the NFL. First carry for Josh Jacobs. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. So on the big tight end, holding. Each and every year, we talk about very few tight ends coming into the league that are polished blockers or asked to do it a lot in college. So it's a constant struggle and a constant fight to learn how to do it without holding. Carr. Throw left side, taken in by Renfro. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. First rep of the game for Josh Jacobs. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. Third play here, this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. Now Carr. Got a man open, it's Darren Waller. And he is gonna have the Raiders first down. They needed five there on third down, he winds up getting seven. An effective seven yard third down conversion. Derek Carr, very precise thrower of the football. What's the game plan for going up against him? Yeah, used to be take away the short stuff, I know, but he's more than a dink and dunker, right? And you are right about that. Great analysis of him because he has evolved as a thrower. 
Now he can push the ball downfield, but still, the number one things you want to take away, short passes, intermediate passes. So sharp, precise, and accurate, you've got to sit on those routes in order to cause him problems. On first and ten, here's Carr. And that's caught. It's Brian Edwards. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. That one good for 13 and a Raider first down. And Brian Edwards, the third of three high draft picks the Raiders used on receivers last year, if you count Lynn Bowden. They got him in the third round out of South Carolina. A big, strong, physical receiver. They expect more catches like the one we just saw there. A first down run there for Jacobs, but nothing doing as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's about it. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Second down, Jacobs once more. Five yards, now it's third and five. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. An extra defender in the secondary for the Vikings here on third down. Now Carr. Over the middle complete. That's Edwards. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A gain of 18 and a new set of downs. I don't think it's a surprise. They're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. Your confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they're looking at the sideline thinking to themselves and that spread. Today, from MetLife Stadium in New Jersey, this is Madden Football.
on EA Sports. From the stadium that hosted Super Bowl 48 back in 2014, there's a look at MetLife Stadium here in East Rutherford. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the New York Jets. Josh Lambeau now ready to put this one in the air. And we are underway here on EA Sports. On the return, Corey Ballantyne. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. And the Jets about set to go here on the offensive side for the first time. And leading him out, Charles, the number two overall pick in this April's draft. It's Zach Wilson out of BYU. During the draft process, it was pretty clear early that Jacksonville was locked in on Trevor Lawrence, the quarterback at Clemson. That allowed the Jets to really peruse the rest of the quarterback crop. And they settled in on Zach Wilson from BYU. Loved his game, ability to throw from the pocket, the off-platform throws, getting outside of the pocket and making plays. He's their guy, and they expect him to be that guy for at least the next 10 years. Off the play fake, here's Wilson. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. No! So a pretty early first quarter roughing the passer penalty. Seems like the officials are going to let everyone know they're taking charge of this game. They're always going to protect the quarterback. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and 10. Here's Wilson. And his first pass is incomplete. He was looking for Jamison Crowder there. That'll bring up second down. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. So line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. Here's Wilson to throw. Open out on the left side. This is Cole. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and 10. Pass complete, but no gain. No yards. Yeah. So you file that as unsuccessful. Yeah, you do, don't you? Except on the stats, throwing the ball. You get a completion. You get a catch. Yeah. But still... No, no yardage. Okay. 47 the mic. 47 the mic. On third down, Wilson. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free, and it brings up fourth down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Now the Jets send on Braden Mann to punt. Jamal Agnew is deep to return it. The call for a fair catch, and it's made at about the 23-yard line. Just 34 yards on the punt there, no return. And the Jaguars go on offense, first down and 10. The Jacksonville offense getting ready to begin this first drive, and at the helm, the number one overall pick back in April, Trevor Lawrence, the rookie out of Clemson. For so long, the Jacksonville Jaguars have been seeking their franchise quarterback, and they believe they've got their guy now. How about this? 38-2 in his collegiate career, won a national championship his freshman season, and the only losses he ever suffered during the college football playoffs. Had to have a little bit of surgery in the offseason, but this is a guy who's locked in on football, has everything you're looking for in a quarterback. And they'll run it. This is James Robinson, and he'll take this one up close to the 25-yard line. The tackle made there by Jared Davis. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. From the 25 on second down, Lawrence. That catch good for five. It's third down. 
Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. The Jets will bring in a nickel set here as they try to stop this third down. Lawrence. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. The Cook now on to punt as he gets this one away. That'll go as a punt of 34 yards that time. And the Jets will take over first and 10. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got to look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. See if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good stop. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Wilson. And it's knocked away and incomplete. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. Second and ten. From the shotgun, Wilson airing one out for Crowder.